there are many, many beings. Well, let me put it this way. Even if you think we look something like you, we in many ways are nothing like you. And the idea, even though right now we're not technically alien, but we are extraterrestrial because we do share genetic material, we are in a sense like a different type of human, nevertheless, the energy of our being is extremely alien to many of you because of the level that we operate on, because of the dimension we inhabit, because of our evolutionary place and the way we experience reality. And the idea is, think of the most alien kind of encounter, the most unusual, strangest, most different kind of encounter you could have with some form of life on your planet. We would be far more alien than that. Far more alien than that. And again, there is a instinct within most of you that when it encounters something so alien, so different, it reacts in a survival mechanism that translates into a phobia. Because you're seeing it as something that doesn't belong in your reality, that's simply too foreign, too alien for your mind to grasp the totality of, but it senses what it does sense as something that shouldn't be there. It's not normally part of your reality. Therefore, it starts breaking your reality apart. Yes? Wow. <laughs> but you seem so much like us. For the piece of me that you're seeing in the simulacrum that's created to act as a buffering mechanism between us, yes, of course, it's designed to seem more like you. I am very different than you think.